All right, so here we are in the Fundy Designer Suite. Now I have a whole bunch of images and spreads here because I just put together a studio sample album, kind of a, a highlight album, so to speak, from the past couple of years of the weddings I've done. So I'm just gonna use this as an example. But let's say I wanted to turn these images into a slideshow. Well, um, the first thing I'm gonna do is decide which images that I want to use for the slideshow. Now I have 322 images here. I don't want every single one of those photos in the slideshow. So basically what I'm going to do or what I've already have done, I should say, is I'm going to go through and mark my favorites. In this case, I'm using two stars to denominate which photos I want in my slideshow. So once I've done that, once I've decided which images I want, I can go to the slideshow tab right here in the top and start getting uh, my slideshow together. Now, if you've never done um, this before, this is your first time, you won't have any of your own saved templates, obviously, but Fundy does have a couple uh, random ones right here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and start from scratch. Now, um, once you've cho chosen all of your slideshow options, you can actually save a new template and call it whatever you want. So for example, I'm gonna call this Sean's uh, Portfolio Slideshow. And the cool thing about this is uh, let's say you want to create a slideshow for every single one of your clients after you've delivered their wedding, you can create the, uh, you can have the same parameters basically and create this template. So all you need to do is just drag and drop their images and everything's already done for you, which saves you a ton of time. But we're gonna start from scratch here. So um, for starters, I decided that I wanted just the two star images to show up in the slideshow. So I'm gonna select two star images, but of course you can do it by unrated, all images, uh, your, your favorite images, whatever. In this case, I'm using two stars. Now, um, I like to do, I'm just gonna have to do a random order, but you also have custom order, uh, sorted by name, sorted by date, but I am gonna do random order. Now, um, it's telling me that I have 79 slides and it's gonna be about a five minute slideshow, but we can, we can change that later. So, um, the first thing I want to do, though, is I actually like my slideshow. I should say I want my slideshow to start with my logo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select uh, my studio logo slide. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my logo. And let's say just for the sake of this, uh, we'll use my Lara Photography logo. I probably need to grab a white one, though, just because uh, we're going to be putting this on a black background. All right, so now I found my logo. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And basically I can rearrange the order. So this is the slides. So I want that to come after my logo. Now there's other things I can do as well. So for example, if I wanted to add in um, like the slides from the album design, I can do that. If I've already created some wall art, I can do that as well. Lots of different options here, but for the sake of this presentation or for this slideshow, I'm just gonna do my logo and then my uh, images that I've selected for my slides. So now I'm gonna come over here. Fundy does have a couple songs already, but um, no offense, Fundy, I wasn't super stoked on any of these songs that you selected, so I'm gonna go ahead and select my own. So what I'm gonna do is uh, import my own custom song. Now I downloaded one earlier. This isn't your typical wedding song, but I wanted to choose this just to show you uh, what Fundy can do. Now um, you can have multiple songs playing, but for this case, I only want one song for this slideshow. So um, we're gonna go ahead and select this song. Now when you go to the slideshow style, there's two options you have. You can do a beat match, where is each slide will change when uh, a new beat is played, and I'll show you an example of that later. Or you can go for a, a timed crossfade, which is kind of a more traditional fade in, fade out style of a slideshow. But I really like the beat match feature, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, go with this one. All right, so now that Fundy has analyzed the AI beat matching, what we're gonna do now is have fun with our timing. So we have a couple different options here where we can have the slide change on every single beat or uh, change on maybe beats one and three or two and four. Uh, this is where you get to have a little bit of fun and experiment. And then once you've selected this, you can do, uh, you can press play where it'll show you a preview of what the slideshow is gonna look like. 
So for the sake of this, I'm gonna go ahead and have beats two and four selected, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just play this and see what it does. So that's a quick little preview of what the slideshow will do. Um, now let's say you want something a little bit more faster paced. If you did all the beats, then it'll actually play all the beats. So obviously that might not necessarily be the best choice in music for a wedding slideshow, but it just kind of gives you an idea of what you can do with this amazing new software. Now, once you've gotten your slideshow done, what you can do is you have two options. You can go to export and you can download a MP4 version of your slideshow that you can share with clients uh, or do you know whatever you want to do with. One of my favorite features though, is if you go to upload, um, you can give it a name and then you can actually uh, create a slideshow for your website or for the internet. So you have two options here. As these images are exporting, what's gonna happen here is it's gonna create a directory online for your slideshow. All right, so now the slideshow is done exporting and now it's uploading to the worldwide interwebs. And this is where things get really cool in my opinion. So once it's uploaded, you can do one of two things. So you can go ahead and share your link. This is how you'll share it with a client. Um, or if you want, you can go to help and you can go to manage my fundy account. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and log in here. If you go to slideshows now and click on that, you have all of your slideshows that'll show up right here. So um, let's say we're gonna go to this slideshow. You can view it online and you can send this to a client or you know to whoever. Or this is where this is the feature I really like. Top right corner, there's a little link icon. You can actually embed this slideshow into your website. So if you're using WordPress, for example, you can embed this straight into your HTML, into your back end, and this slideshow will actually play on your website. So obviously you have a lot of really cool features regarding these slideshows to work with, and it's just gonna make your life so much easier to create engaging content. And that's it. That's how incredibly easy it is to make a slideshow using Fundy's new AI beat matching slideshow software. Whew, that's a mouthful. But I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have, and I hope you're ready to change the game when it comes to showing off your photos to the world. Take care. Thanks, everyone.